Timber versus man. Oh, it's Timber man versus not Timber versus man. I am so sorry. <laughs> That's not the right fucking title of the game. You bet your ass for not skipping this intro. Most fucking metal intro of all time. Oh no, what could that be? Watch out, motherfuckers. It's the Timber Man versus. Why does it seem like this would be a fucking game that Mordecai and Rigby on regular show would fucking like want to play? Oh yeah, the new Timberman versus Zier. And then Rigby would be like, put it in, put it in. I can't do Rigby. He'd be like, put it in, put the new, put, 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 put. And then the fucking scream would boot up to this and be like, D -d 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 Timberman versus two. And then later Mordecai, whoa, wicked graphic. Okay, let's just fucking start the game. I'm getting a little bit too carried away and having way too much fun with this. I gotta slow it down. Let's see how this goes. I've never, I've only played online once, but it was a shitty connection. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna fucking choose. Fuck. Oh, I'm gonna choose Grim Reaper. Yeah? No. Fuck it. No. Okay. Yeah, fuck it. Grim Reaper. Wait, actually, I want egg. Is this egg? Or chicken. Egg or what came first? So it was egg or chicken. We got knockoff Mario. <laughs> That's not Mario. We got sumo wrestler. We got the Joker. <laughs> that fucking terrible video on YouTube. I'm the Joker, baby. <laughs> I love that video. If you've never seen it, just go look up. I'm the Joker, baby. <laughs> I guarantee I'll fucking crack up every time. Okay, we're just gonna go choose motherfucking dumb. Jeez, this is so hard. Okay, Edward Scissor's hand. Edward Scissor's hand knockoff. Is anybody even playing right now? Because it's, if it's not, I could come back at a different time. That, that, that's cool, you know? Like, I'll just come back at a different time. Um, let's just go into some other mode. This is what freaking Timberman is about. Let's see how much we can freaking go. I'm just like freaking button. God dang it. I'm button mashing. But I mean, that's the point of the game is to button mash. It's better like on a pro controller. It's, I would it. God damn it. 13, ooh, spooky, spooky. Okay, get away, get away, get away, get away. As I was saying, I wouldn't advise playing this game with Joy-Cons because you're gonna rip those motherfuckers apart if for playing this awesome game. I bought this for like a couple cents on the eShop and ever since then it's just been fucking addicting. I don't know how many hours I put into this game, but jeez Louise, man, this game is pretty fun. I mean, look at this. I'm already up to 100. I'm going slow, but like, it's because, jeez, I don't want to go too fast. God damn it. See? See what happens when you go too fast. You lose. You lose. You're making him lose his focus. Oh, this is a great setting. I love... I love candy canes. Death loves candy canes. <laughs> I mean, look at him. He's so excited. He's chopping all. He's taking all these candy canes home right now with him. If he even has one. Does Death have home? Like, does does he have like a physical home, or does he just like wander the earth and that's his home? Or does like I don't know. Like, fuck. I really, I, I want to rewatch really watch fucking Billy and Mandy, man. Ooh, what's this? What was that? Like a candy strike? Oh, I think that's Sailor Moon. Nice. Finally, the real setting of the freaking game. Look at this. Finally. We're all over here. These wacky, adventurous, freaking exotic locations <laughs> that are hurting my freaking eyes and are like too distracting. Because I just want to freaking get to the game. I mean, yeah, it's cool to have the different setting. But oh my god, once I, I lose focus, man, I'm like a freaking goldfish or... No, I'm like freaking Dory in in Finding Nemo. She's like, oh, look over there. I just get distracted easily, man. I have these VHS tapes for a reason, because god damn it. I looked at it. I looked at the VHS tape. Okay, see, look, the snow level isn't as bad. I dig snow. I live, I live, you know, I hate this. I hate driving in the snow. As a child, I love the snow, but then later as an adult shoveling it and 
fucking driving in it and just fucking <laughs> just cleaning it off your fucking car. Fucking snow sucks. Anybody, I've been saying this for years now, but anybody who says that they love the snow has never have to fucking <laughs> freaking take it off of their damn car or had a shovel their own house and the drive and like the not yeah the driveway sometimes i've had to help a friend do that once that was a pain and getting it out of a car too is a pain fucking parking spots dude just fucking snow man i hate the snow oh i forgot we we're playing a game my bad i got sidetracked i'm literally fucking dory for finding Mima, like i just said this one's pretty cool I like the palm tree and I like the background. The, the sprites are really nice. Reminds me of a oh, god dang it. Reminds me of like the old the fucking uh, Super Nintendo Aladdin game, the Sega Genesis one too. But I think the the Super Nintendo was the superior one. I think somebody correct me down there. If anybody knows about the shit I'm talking about, half of you probably don't. <laughs> Feel free to Google it, okay? Some of this shit is really interesting. I'm like a walking Wikipedia random page on Google. Ooh, the night time. I like the moon. This is a nice one, too. I like to appreciate the scenery, too, man. They All the developers put a hard work in this game. Shout out to everybody on this game, because this game has been... God damn it! It's been so addicting and so fun. It was pretty cheap, too, to buy. I think it was, like, less than a couple bucks. That helps. Oh, how much was it? Oh, you know, less than a couple bucks. What the fuck? No, it was less than, like five dollars for i'm gonna say between no it was like two dollars it was less than two dollars oh look it's a mario level level but not really because i don't i mean i don't know i know they have like an actual arcade because this one arcade that i drive to actually had like a big fucking like a uh, arcade cabinet where you could like play timber it was just just timber man versus so you literally just had to play the default like hero mode and you got tickets um i remember crushing it at that game i'm like oh yeah i got the fucking switch version of this game so that way i'd fucking nail fucking uh actual game in real life and you know it was a little bit hard but i got a shit ton of tickets and yeah that was cool <gasps> fuck i got distracted okay okay we're getting close we're getting close holy shit this is going way too fast for me, man. Oh, fuck. Can't stop. But, oh, god damn it. <laughs> oh, it's a good start. I do say so myself. God damn it. Okay, never mind. I gotta jinx myself. I was watching one and people didn't know that. What's his face? Uh, fucking, I always fucking butcher his goddamn name. Ewan, Ewan, Ewan. Ewan McGregor, Mc, you know, fucking Obi-Wan Kenobi. He was the voice of Rodney Copperbottom in Robots. Y'all didn't know that? Dude, I fucking love Robots as a kid, dude. Him and Robin Williams were, like, fucking awesome as hell, dude. Fucking Aunt Fanny and fucking, uh, what was, uh, Piper. Fucking Amanda Bynes. Oh, yeah, she's like, he rhymes with the Viper. <laughs> it rhymes. <laughs> she's like, it rhymes with Viper. <laughs> or it's and then, then, oh man, I want to watch robots. And that whole scene with fucking Robin Williams were his, were, fuck, I forgot his name. Bender? Fender? Fender? I don't fucking know. I know it's not Bender, it's Fender. Whatever the fuck his name was, you know who he was. But anyways, that whole sequence with where him and the bad guys were like fucking busting out into fucking uh, Britney Spears. Uh, Oops, I did it again. You're breaking your heart, and then there's to say, oh baby, baby. Okay, I can't anymore, but I love that scene, and I love that that like that movie, and that I love that fucking montage. Fender, whatever the fuck Robin Williams' character in Robots was, he's all like, we're here, we are here to, to kill you or something. And then the, the what, the fucking evil robot, mom was like i'm a woman and then i don't know what the fuck happened but geez it's been a while since i watched robots all i can remember from robots from the top of my head right now is that ian mcgregor was rodney copperbottom 
fucking Amanda Vines. I think David Schwimmer. I don't know if he was in it. I don't know who the fuck else was in it. Um, Robin Williams, Ian McGregor, Amanda Bimes. I don't know who the fuck else is in it. I know there's like, there's a like, oh, Mel Brooks, I think. I think Mel Brooks was in it. Was it him? Was he Mr. Big Lot? Was he Big Lot? I don't know. Like, fuck. I want to look it up right now, but I can't. <laughs> Because I'm playing this fucking game, but I don't want to die at the same time because this is actually like a high score that I'm actually getting right now. So this is like a good time to not be wanting to fucking go look at that right now. But it's killing me because I don't fucking remember if it was him or not. But it's okay because we'll look at it in a little bit. <gasps> no! It wasn't worth it. It wasn't fucking worth it. I'm gonna look at my phone right now and I'm gonna see if Mel Brooks was fucking, <laughs> fucking, uh, big lot. Oh my god, that little puppet outside fucking cracks me the fuck up for some reason. <laughs> this movie was in 2005. What in the fuck? Ewan McGregor, Robin Williams. It fucking was Mel Brooks. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Last one. We're gonna make it fucking count. We're gonna unlock that character. Oh yeah, I could feel it now. I could unlock it right now and end the video. It's gonna be fucking great. Yeah, you know why? Because we're gonna fucking get that character and we're gonna get a high fucking score right now, right? Yep. That's what we're gonna do. Oh god damn it. <laughs> Please tell me it's enough to unlock her. Okay, glad yes, we got her. Nice. Okay. Whoever the fuck that is. If you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe button or you will get bad luck for the rest of your life because it is 11, 11 right now. So make a wish. It counts. I'll make a wish right now. Cool. Don't tell me your wish. Hold on to that. Anyway, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you guys want to follow me on social media, follow me above here. I post daily clips. I post just behind the scenes and I just post regular stuff of my life if you're interested in that post it on the gram and on my twitter i will see you guys in the next video this is yours truly han solo 82 signing off and as always bye bye